Bro, come on, man. Bro, my inner white girl's going crazy right now. Ta -da. I woke up today and I said, I need a way to store my shoes without it looking messy and it has to be sanitary, right? I was thinking about just getting a shelf and getting it done and over with. Then again, like when you go outside, when you go to public restrooms, there's a lot of nasty stuff in the ground that you don't want to track into your house. So this box from the container store, literally every single sneaker YouTuber, TikToker, I don't know, anyone with sneakers, they always have this box and I've never gotten it. So I just bought an entire box of six of these. And yeah, I guess we're just gonna store our shoes in here so that it can look nice and pretty. Close it up. Mmm. Mm -mm. These right here are literally the most comfortable shoe I've ever put my toes in, bro. So good. These right here, the pine green off-white dunks. These were the first kind of like expensive shoe that I got for myself just because they remind me of parsley. And then I swapped the orange laces to white because it's more like calm this way. We have the Kentucky dunks. These, I mean, there's really nothing much to say about them. It's just like blue shoes that I got. And then I swapped the laces to cream. The Travis Scott SBs, which crease so bad. I just wish they didn't crease this bad, bro, but... Yeah. SBs are way more comfortable than regular dumps because like the padding right here is just hella more thick. Okay, does it look weird if I put it right here? I just don't like how this box blocks the parsley heart. Nice! It looks a lot more clean, I'm gonna say that. Before, they were just chilling on the floor over here. Now I have a lot more room. And I know some of you guys might say, What's the point of taking your shoes out the box to put it in another box? Let me explain. These are clear, so like when you're picking an outfit, it's more easy to just look at it and see what goes with your outfit, you know what I mean? When your shoes are like sitting in a box, it's really hard to like, uh, I don't know, imagine it. I'm a visual learner, so I just appreciate just like, Looking at the shoes so I can see how it matches with my pants and my sh whatever. I keep seeing these comments of people saying, New is posting every day because he has to pay rent. LMFAO. You must be mistaken, okay? Fake news. Not even true. No, no. <laughs> the reason why I've been posting a lot is because there's just so much things to film and like things that I'm enjoying doing. I've been cooking literally every single day. I've been eating out every single day, enjoying life. So the more that I have to film, the more videos that I'm going to post. But I do get it though. I'm not going to post every day because that's going to cause me to burn out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start posting once or twice a week and the other videos that I don't post but I do film I'm gonna just keep hoarding them and stacking them up for a rainy day doesn't make sense ah okay okay we like that we like that but I do appreciate everyone hyping me up though I see so many comments talking about consistent new consistent new that's right yes sir yes sir so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be making birria ramen. I've had it before in San Jose and it was absolutely like amazing. When I ate it, my jaw dropped. Okay, I remember that. So yeah, today I'm bored. I don't really have much to do. So um, we're gonna make birria ramen. Sometimes you do things because you have to and sometimes you do things because you can't. Do you know what I'm talking about? I actually don't even have any idea what kind of meat that we're using. I kind of just asked the uncle that was the butcher what was the best meat for birria and he gave me this. So I guess we're gonna use this. Trozos de res. What the hell is that, bro? It could be kangaroo meat for all I know. But if he says that it's good, I'm gonna use it. He would never lie to me. Bro, I swapped. I don't know. If I touch my eyeball, bitch, <laughs> I'm gonna end up in the ER, bro. It is not gonna look good for me. Imagine I just start rubbing my eyes. Oh, I mean tomato. Mm. Y'all, this is so embarrassing. I have to charge my immersion blender. Mid sauce making, I have to charge it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on, bro. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Okay, this is what it looks like. It does not look that great right now because I took so long taking pictures. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this. I have hella dishes to do, bro. <laughs> What the fuck? Why gotta do dishes and shit? So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna shower, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.
You guys ever do some stuff that makes you feel like a dumbass? I wash my wallet, bro. It's just so wet. All the bills are wet. See, good thing I don't really even carry cash, bro. Like, if you guys rob me in person, this is all you're gonna get. Bitch, you're getting $29, all right? And this is a heavy day, too. Bro, I haven't even bought a hair dryer yet. I'm in this bitch, like, <sighs> trying to air dry it. <laughs> <laughs> This is the first time that I've gotten like real coffee from a coffee spot in LA. Recently, I've just been drinking like a lot of Starbucks and like, you know, cold brew that you can buy in big bottles at like, you know, Target and stuff like that. But today, we went to a coffee spot. Oh my God, this is like, oh my, wait. I also got this croissant. This is my breakfast. Ham and cheese croissant. You see how like flakies and how there's so much layers. That means whoever baked this knew what the hell they're doing document coffee you literally cannot find a bad restaurant or coffee spot in la bro it's impossible bro looking at them in person they look so crazy they kind of remind me of like um dinosaur fossils right no i will say when i first saw these my reaction is probably the same as the reaction that you guys have right now i think kanye first revealed these at like some type of conference or meeting and he had them in his hand and when pictures started to surface on the internet my reaction was literally ew gross but as time went on and i've seen people wear them with like outfit pictures and stuff like that like it kind of started growing on me you know it is kind of crazy and if you guys are not into shoes or are unaware these are called the yeezy foam runners these are made of i think like 100 recycled little parts is it made of seaweed no it's made of like algae or some shit what's the difference it's like a croc a more stylish croc and i'm pretty sure i heard Lil yachty sian sneaker complex that these are hella comfortable so we're gonna see Wait, 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 yeah. Wait, these actually are the most comfortable. Bro, I'm like doing laps and shit. I feel like this would go something well with like baggier pants, right? So you want something that has like a wider hem at the bottom. You definitely do not want to wear these with skinny jeans, bro. You're going to look insane. You're going to look wild. You can see like a little stacking on the bottom. Bro, I don't know, man. I just love the way these look on feet. It might take some time to get used to, but bro, these kind of look crazy. Let me know what you guys think. I'm curious to see if you guys like it or not. Bro, I posted a picture of those on IG and look at the responses, bro. It literally looks like a spider web to your Foot. Ugly shoes. What are those? Not the bread looking shoes. Man, I hate you guys. <laughs> God, these are so comfortable, bro. Every time I put my feet in them, I be in there like, what are your thoughts? I think it looks cool, man. You guys are being haters, bro. Come on. Dinner, dinner, dinner is served. What do we have? Ooh. Ah. Shaolong Bao soup dumplings. It's like just dumplings and the inside is actually soup. I actually want to make this for one of my videos, but it's like a long and difficult process. We have shumai and this is harkao. Since I've been here, I noticed that I like to like alternate cooking days. You know what I mean? So some days I'll cook dinner and some days I'll Postmates dinner. And recently I noticed that I've been using Postmates a lot because it's just like hella convenient. Like, mm, this. Is my favorite thing to eat, bro. This is uh, harkao, I think, or Vietnamese people call it hakao. It's just like a steamed shrimp inside like a steamed dumpling. Very simple. You're supposed to dip it with the sauce. Wait, I should eat more. Bro, this camera cannot focus for shit, bro. I'm gonna chuck this thing out the window for real. Guys, just use your imagination and pretend this is 4K. Mm -hmm. Love that. Ah, there you go. There you go. Now you want to focus. All right. What is this called? A shalom bao? So essentially how they make this is they get like, um, I think it's like bone broth or some type of broth. They freeze it. They put it in a the dumpling. They wrap the dumpling. And when it's time to serve, they steam it. So the inside just melts. And the inside is actually soup. Drops of soup coming out. What? What? 